Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today on Habitat Hints, we're going to talk about something very special to the southeast region. It's a plant called cane, and I'm very glad to be joined by Ross Glenn, and Ross Glenn's going to tell us all about this plant and why is it so special to this part of the state. Um, we'll learn more here in just a second. Let me turn this around. We'll talk with Ross. All right, Ross, we're talking about the plant cane. Why is this plant so special to the southeast region? And what can we, what do we need to know about this plant? Cane is a, is a species of, a species of grass that is native to this area. And it used to be around the turn of the century, 1800 into 1900. Um, it was a very prevalent plant across this landscape down here. Mm -hmm. And as time went on and land use change, it, we, most of the cane disappeared. Over the years, it has come back and on a lot of our conservation areas in the lowlands of Missouri, we try and get it reestablished throughout the throughout here in Cape Night Cape, but throughout here in southeast Missouri, right? Yes. So why is this such an important plant? It's very different. You don't see it very much. Uh, w what species like really rely on this? There's a handful of species that utilize mm. uh, the cane, uh, swamp rabbits. Uh, there's a quite a few different neotropical migratories that use it, including the Swainson's warbler, which is dependent on it, uh, which, is a, which is a listed species that we try and provide habitat for. Now, this was a popular plant back in so many, a while ago. What for? I mean, what did people use this plant for? This was used for a variety of reasons. Uh, Native Americans used it for in their camps, um, it's long time been used as a, you know, fishing pole. Yeah. Okay. And so, tell us, you know, so what are what are what here, uh, NBC staff? What are we doing to help kind of bring this native plant back? In areas that in areas that have are basically managed for conservation, whether it be wetland reserve program makers or on our conservation areas, we try and, we try and provide the cane. Um, this particular cane was moved here from another conservation area in 2007. Okay. It was about the size of a bucket when we moved it. And over, over time it has, it has expanded out and it moves around, it's traveled underneath, or you know, it's traveled across the road to the other side and through some tree lines. It is a little bit dependent on sunlight, so sometimes we have to come in and, and remove a tree or two to get the sunlight to help, it, to help it prosper and expand around. Now, is it mainly grown here in southeast Missouri, or do you see it uh, around the state? It's in it's in some of the lowlands across this or the bottomlands across the state, but it's probably the bulk of it was here in the Boot Hill in Missouri. Gotcha. Funny, this is a random question. You may not even know this, but I'm curious, do they get the name cane because it looks kind of like a candy cane with the white, green, white, green kind of thing? Or is it just, just, just so happened to grow that way? I think it probably just so happens to grow oh, okay. that way. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Where can people learn more about this unique plant to this unique part of the state? We, on our website, we do have some information about, about cane. All right, and so you can check that out. I'm going to echo what he said. Really cool and very uh, special plant to this southeast region. And you can learn more about this species on our website at mdc.mo.gov. Thanks for joining us today on Habitat Hints. You have a great rest of the day.